Booyah! So, I don't have my booze letter page ready yet, so I just wanted to do a couple beer reviews for those of you motherfuckers who uh, live around my area, or maybe don't. But right now, we're going to talk sour ales. Fucking yum. And Bevmo, if you live in the Kitsap County area, is selling this fucking sour six-pack. Yeah, after tax comes out 26 bucks. Get over it. It's expensive. But if you want to try some beer that's really fucking tasty, in my opinion, I think you should go for it. So what I'm drinking currently right now, it says, oh, it's going to be fucking backwards for you, but it's a Monk's Cafe Flemish Sour. Fucking oak barrel on it, obviously. And for those of you who don't know about sours, they're basically... Um, magical ecosystem of yeast, bacteria, and fungus working together with oak, making an environment, and chilling for a while, and souring and tarting the fucking wort of the beer. This one is nice, roasty. Um, have you ever had a smoky porter, maybe like the Silver City porters? You get the little roasty fucking taste, or the Bach. Actually, the Bach's a good one. The, it's like the Bach, but it's soured. Basically, it tastes good <laughs> instead of, to me, garbage. But this is a really gorgeous one. That's part of it. It doesn't have an ABV on it, so kind of fucked on that aspect. And here's another one, and this is the uh, Petrus. This is the Petrus Aged. Once again, the labeling's backwards. My bad. Aged in oak barrels, 20 months. Basically, what that means is sour as shit. It's almost slap you silly sour, and what's it's like... um. It's like 7.7%, 7.3%. Nice little booze cruise. And it's nice because you get the really fucking tart ass bite when you taste it. And then afterwards it has that crisp champagne aftertaste to it, which I think is fucking amazing. In the, sorry, I'm fucking burping up like a motherfucker. And it also comes with the Old Brun Petrus. So there's two of each of these fuckers. The Old Brun Petrus is gonna be more like I guess most of my constituents are going to be watching this. <laughs> you like how I use that word, like it means. Anyway, or my colleagues are going to be watching this, and uh, I compare that to taking a ridge top red and fucking souring it. And it's also nice, smoky. It's got a low 5% alcohol thing, but for those of you, alcohol percent, if you really care about that and you're like, you see one like, yeah, 5%, I don't really give a fuck. Well, you know what? Slime a fucking glass of wine and then sip on this shit because it's beautiful. It's tart, pairs really well with fucking sweet foods. And it has really interesting yeasts. And sour ale yeasts are basically like Rosalaire, you have Brettanomyces, you have Lactobacillus, you have Pediococcus. And those are all strains that chill, and after a certain amount of time, they turn fucking sour. Say if you want to make your own sour beer, you have to actually take a fucking while to make it. Because you have to have that set for at least maybe six, seven months before the bacteria will actually go boom and get fucking sour. And there's like a level of like... I'm not even going to get into what that shit is because if you have any questions about basic yeast, I recommend this book. <laughs> it's backwards again. It's Yeast, The Practical Guide to Beer Fermentation. And maybe if you're at the gynecologist's office, they might have these right next to Newsweek. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke, but I don't know. I'm not a gynecologist or a senator, but there's a lot of senators who are gynecologists. I'm not going to get I mean, And so as far as sour beers goes, um, you might have tried the Rainy Days one out here. And how what happened with that shit is it's a local brewery, I guess, and they made a bad batch of beer, so they threw in some fucking Britannomyces, let it sit for a year, or maybe it was two years, fuck, I don't know, and boom, it went sour. And it's a good thing to do with garbage beers, because um, sours are actually more complicated to do than regular ones. For example, you get Ber Berliner Weisses, which are also sour, usually lower in alcohol percentage, but that, that really doesn't matter. That's just how much fucking malt you feed the yeast. So if you want a strong-ass beer, you feed it more malt or more sugar because it eats that, the yeast eats that shit and shits out a certain amount of alcohol. And there's different yeasts shit out different percentages of alcohol. For example, since we're talking sours, which are usually from lambic strains, and I also want to emphasize lambic beer, when you hear lambic, don't just think of frambois because that's a style of yeast. Frambois is not called, it's called frambois because that's what it's called. It's a lambic yeast that makes it. Anyway, they usually average cap in about 9% alcohol. Some are 20, but if you, yeah, you can always blend yeast. That's the kind of fun thing. If you want, you might want to make a beer at home. You want to make it stronger than normal beers. Sure, you could add lots of fucking malts to it, but the problem with that is you get shit too malty, it's going to be syrupy. For example, if any of you guys have ever been in like 
you've been like me on the way to Capitol Hill block party, and you're drinking in public before you get to the public vicinity, you'll stop in a gas station like, I don't get fucked up. I saw this lobster beer, 9.7 percent alcohol. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get fucked up. Drink it. It's like fucking cough syrup because they use so many malts to make it fucking stronger in alcohol percentage. So what I recommend to brewers, not for, I mean, is just throw some fucking wine yeast in it. Throw some extra sugar in it. Boost the alcohol. But you're also going to have to fucking boost the hops to kind of neutralize it in a way. For example, there's this um, Belgian beer called La Chef. I don't even want to fucking try to pronounce it, but it has a fucking gnome on it. Like something you see in someone's fucking yard living in Paulsbo. And you taste that beer, and it fucking sucks because, see, I don't like hops. I don't like IPAs. I don't like licking tree assholes, you know, because that's kind of what it's like. And, uh, but if you get a beer with too light of hops that is not sour, it's going to taste really fucking malty in a skunky way. Like, it's kind of like, ew. And that little elf beer, gnome beer I was telling you about, it has, a, like, a tannic grip on your tongue, like how wines do. But so it just takes extra kind of creepy because there's no, the characteristics about it is all kind of weird, you know. Anyway, beer rant number, what is it, two, hold on. Oh, magic. This is something I'm really fucking excited about. This is a special Rodenbach Reserve. And Rodenbach is probably one of my favorite sours because it has the right balance of malts, and tartness and then when you sip it you'll identify more characters especially in different temperatures and this one's a specific one with age with raspberries sour cherries age in oak vats for probably a long fucking time i mean like probably like a year or two but it was like 25 bucks a bottle but good wines are like that but good beers usually are but if you're in the northwest and you like IPAs, you're in luck because you go into a store and everyone's shitting out IPAs, so it's really fucking a generic ass kind of beer now. But if you like sours, a lot of people aren't getting into it too much. They're get, actually they're getting into it more nowadays, but it's not very prevalent out here in the Washington area. Portland is getting rocking, but Washington people don't really know how to do it that well. They don't have the time, and they don't want to damage their equipment because these yeasts I was talking about, they'll actually stain the equipment and turn other beer that way. And sometimes I'll go to the brewing store, the local brewing store. Has actually, Olympic Brewing, amazing place. Bill and Sean are very excellent people to talk to about brewing. They'll say, hey, man, this shit will sour, stain all your equipment, so you won't have dedicated. I'm like, oh, no, it'll sour all my beer. Shucks. That's what I fucking want, man. I don't want a regular beer. If I want a regular beer, just go to the store and waste $5 for some garbage IPA. Anyway, sorry, beer rant. I'll have the booze letter Facebook page up pretty soon. Maybe, but I'll just do video posts for now for this shit, so. Keep drinking, motherfuckers. Sedgeway, where I can't stop.